What's up, folks? Pastor Butler here, man. Hope everyone's having a great week so far. Um, listen, I just want to have a quick conversation with us, man. So let us bow our heads in a moment of prayer before we go any farther. Father, we come to you in Jesus' name, giving you the glory and the praise. We ask, Father, that your word will go forth, that the Holy Spirit of God will lead, and that it will be all of you and none of me. In Jesus' name, amen. Listen, beloved, I come today, man, really with um, a, a heavy heart, just a genuine heavy heart, uh, a heavy heart for the body of Christ, a heavy heart for the children of God, a heavy heart for the saints, for the believers, for us as a whole. You know, the Bible says that how can a man preach the word unless he be sent? And it's a lot of stuff going on in the body of Christ right now, beloved, that I'm not sure that some of the people that are preaching the teaching are actually sent to preach and teach the gospel of Jesus Christ. I mean, you know, I typically am not a social media guy, a digital platform guy, but because I come to you on YouTube, uh, recently I've been watching more YouTube, especially from a, a spiritual standpoint. And all the stuff that's going on, all the stuff that's being said, all the stuff that's being done, all the different type of churches, church services, church attitude, church thoughts, church belief systems, uh, things that people are doing in the name of Jesus Christ, beloved, that's just not biblical. It's heartbreaking because I'm a Christian and I love Jesus and I genuinely love Christianity. Like, you know, that, that was times in my life where meeting another Christian actually excited me until I kind of unfortunately got to a point where I realized the other Christians weren't as excited to meet other Christians as I was. And that is a bad, that that is, that is depressing. And that is heartbreaking for us as a body of Christ, because we're supposed to be a unit unified together. We can't defeat the enemy unless we're together as a unit. That's a whole nother teaching. But what I will say today, beloved, is listen, in this 2024, to preserve your relationship with God and to preserve the relationship of all those around you who depend upon you, who celebrate with you in the spirit, your family members, your kids, your friends, uh, for those of us who are called to minister, to those, for those that God has called you to minister to, make sure that what you're preaching and teaching lines up with the gospel of Jesus Christ. Make sure that your Christianity is biblical. Make sure that your Christianity is actually Christian according to the word of God. According to being a believer and a follower of Jesus Christ. Because right now the Bible says that the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. But after their own lusts, they will heap up for themselves teachers having itching ears. They'll be turned aside unto fables and be turned away from the truth. It says, but you be watchful in all things. Endure affliction. Do the work of evangelists and fulfill your ministry. And I will say to every Christian, beloved, please listen, if you don't spend a lot of time in the Word and you're a Christian, learn to work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Spend time in this Word. Study to show yourself approved unto God, a workman that needed not be ashamed. Rightly dividing the Word of truth. Because right now, the, the worst type of minister or preacher or teacher or apostle or bishop or whatever it is you want to have that you can have is one that preaches certain parts of the Bible and preaches so hard one subject matter that they twist that subject matter, they change that subject matter, they rearrange that subject matter to the point where in teaching that from their fleshly perspective, they contradict other parts of the Bible. So many times people say the Bible contradicts itself because people preach it wrong. People preach it from their fleshly man. As I said before, they take their flesh and try to make the spirit of this Bible be a subjection to their flesh instead of, instead of subjecting their flesh to the spirit of this Bible. Beloved, it's heartbreaking. The Bible says you should preach the word of God. Or the Bible says actually that it's line upon line and precept upon precept, meaning line upon line and understanding or subject matter or thought that should line up with a subject matter or thought. You can't take something from the Old Testament and try to apply it to something in the New Testament in a different place and situation, not having the same meaning and expect that to be truly the gospel or you preach it in a way that satisfies what you feel and what you're thinking and what makes you comfortable. You can't, the world, the flesh of the world, the lust of the flesh, lust of the eyes, the prize of life, sensations, feel-good emotions, 
sexual sensations, none of that stuff that's worldly has no place in the gospel of Jesus Christ. Has no place spiritually. It's not, you're not led by the Holy Spirit of God when you're doing things that are against the world, that are against the Bible. The Bible says, walk in the spirit and you will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lusts against the spirit, the spirit lusts against the flesh. These two are contrary to each other so that you should not do the things that you ought to do. They said, but those who, are, those who are Christ are led by the spirit. Those who are in their flesh cannot please God because they don't have the spirit of God in them. As a Christian, our desire should be to walk in the spirit of God, being led by the spirit of God, walking in the most holy faith of God and faith coming by hearing and hearing coming by the word of God. Faith doesn't come by your opinions, your thoughts, your emotions, how you feel things should be, how you're changing things up. The Bible says to watch out for people that do things for filthy lucre or greedy gain. So if you're doing things for all the wrong reasons, whether it's to get members, whether it's to be liked, whether it's to get followers, whether it's to get comments, whether it's to go digital, whether it's to be accepted in the social arena, whether it's to be called the man, whether it's to be part of the end club. If you're doing anything for any kind of envy, self-seeking, selfish reason, that's not righteous reasons that don't line up with the word, you have to be careful. We have to be careful, Christians, because, beloved, it's heartbreaking for me. Like, it genuinely is heartbreaking. As a man who loves God and genuinely wants to see the body of Christ win, to see us bickering and fighting and debating and challenging each other, which in itself, even for those of us out there who are doing it and we are judging others, but we're doing it because we feel justified in judging. Even that is wrong. Even if what the person is doing is wrong, you judging them in a digital realm, in a social realm is wrong. So I'm not here to judge or call out anyone or call out anything, place my judgment on anyone. That's God's job. There's one, law, there's one lawgiver who's able to save and destroy. Who are you to judge another? So I'm not judging. But what I am saying humbly is, Make sure that your Christianity is Christian according to the word of God. Make sure that your being a believer and a follower of Jesus Christ is according to the word of God. All scripture is given by inspiration of God. It's profitable for direction, for correction, for instruction, for reproof in righteousness so that the man of God will be perfect and thoroughly equipped unto every good work. It's for God. It's God's word. It's his anointing. It's his body of Christ. It's his kingdom of heaven. It's not ours. We shouldn't change the word of God to fit our flesh. We should allow our flesh to change to fit the spirit, which is the word of God, the spirit that's in us, which is led by the spirit of God. Beloved, listen. In the end time, God is going to judge each of us. Every man or woman has to stand before God for judgment. And I don't know about you guys. But I would hate to be one that stands before God and this judgment thing, this judgment with God, this thing that as Christians, we're all hoping for to go to heaven, to live in eternity, to have heaven on earth, to be blessed, to be prosperous. I would hate for none of that to go right, because what I have decided to do is I want to be a Christian God, but I'm not going to do it the way you want me to do it. I want to be a Christian God, but I've decided that what your word said, I don't agree with that part. I agree with this part. I'm going to harp on this part. I'm going to change this part. I'm going to a la carte this part. I'm going to add in. I'm going to take out. I'm going to rearrange this little buffet part of the Bible the way I want. I'm going to take the food off the Bible that I want. The rest of the food, I'm going to leave it there. I don't want to have anything to do with that. And then expect things to go right with you and in your relationship with God. That's just, I mean, that's insanity, really, beloved, for all of us. I was insane for a long time. You know, the greatest thing I like about the way God has allowed me to speak as I close, I don't mind telling you I was insane for a long time because it's exactly what I did. I wanted to party. I wanted to hold on. I wanted to manipulate. I wanted to fornicate. I wanted to be a liar. I wanted to be out there in the streets. I wanted to do all the things that the world did, but I wanted to be a Christian too. I was a Christian, but I was in the world. I had the license plate, but I was in the world. I valet, I valet parked my car with my Yes Jesus license plate at the club. Insane, ridiculousness. And that does not and will not 
ever, ever cause you to prosper. Please, beloved, check where you are right now. And from this day forward, make it a point to only be willing to live in a way that's profitable according to the word of God, the full gospel of Jesus Christ. God bless you guys. I hope that you have a great Friday. I look forward to speaking to you again soon. Go in Jesus' name, enjoy, and God bless. Bye-bye. <laughs>